Nick Cannon was on Lecrae's uh, show um, and said a lot of interesting things. There were a couple of things that I, I, I um, my ear perked up at. This is one of them. Uh, he said he was envious of Lecrae. Mm, I'll see what he said. Up because, I mean, I've, I've said this to you, you know, in, in many occasions, different settings that uh, I was envious of your walk because mm. of all that you are, you, you're a great messenger. Mm. And everything that you just described, everyone feels. Mm. And you got to operate in that and offer that up at the highest level and been, and been acknowledged and rewarded, you know, for that. Because, you know, I never really even took music as seriously as I should have. Mm -hmm. And that's the exact reason why. Mm. Because if I did, I probably would have had to do away with all of the other stuff that I was doing and really did it for the kingdom and really wanted to do it at that level because mm -hmm. that's really what was in me, you know? And even um, if, I would, if I tapped into my true artistry, it would be the self-discovery of my spiritual walk. And, mm. and most mm. people who try that aren't successful in that. I mean, there's because of Brothers Like You, there's this whole new genre of just like, I even call it like spiritual hip hop. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I mean? it's not necessarily even Christian, right? right but right. it's like it's brothers out there thriving, brothers and sisters that are thriving. Yeah, that they are making amazing art mm -hmm. that reflects is, their faith, and, and is everyone could relate to it. Yeah, because Christian rap used to be a genre, and I. I used to hate it because that was the only thing I was allowed to listen to. You know, oh, it was because, probably terrible yeah. too. <laughs> and shouts out to all them people who nah, were doing it. Nah, it was terrible. Tell the <laughs> truth, man. It was bad. You grew up on it, bro. I grew up. DC Talk was nah, <laughs> fam. Was nah, I love in my Toby house. Mac. Is cool. That's the homie. But that nah, that ain't it, bro. No, get in trouble, Lecrae. You gonna get in that trouble? Part. Oh, no, you talking no, no, too much. That I just, part. Wanna, I just like, a pause. It was say gospel gangsters was dope. DC talk a Snoop Dogg. And Yikes. I could, you know, like, Yikes. and I was like, I couldn't, it, I could, all right, let me take that out, put this in. Like nobody was trying to hear that because it was so, and as, and, you know, if we're being honest, it's like the current state of hip hop or that at that time mm -hmm. was light years ahead of like, oh, yeah. DC talk, oh, yeah. you know, sounded like old school run DMC. Yeah. When, you know, Snoop and them was sounding like music. It yeah. was, they were sampling, you know. Yeah. So even as, you know, cause I was, my dad was preaching and he would, he, he acknowledged and recognized my gift. Mm -hmm. And, but he would be like, yeah, uh, you know, at front of the church, go ahead and freestyle about Moses. <laughs> it's, 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 it's stuff out there. You'll see it. Like, I'm literally rapping about, you know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, I'm so spiritual. Look at my flow. <laughs> I'm in the fire. I'm, you know what I mean? Hey, like, and I'm like 11, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, you know, it's giving you a platform too to to express the yeah. art that's in you so, as but, well. So when stuff actually did start opening up and growing up, how we grew up, I started. You know, my music started taking off for me when it was it was gang affiliated. We was mm -hmm. we was there where it was. All right, so. <laughs> Somebody go find uh, a <laughs> clip of Nick Cannon singing about <laughs> Moses, <laughs> rapping about Moses. Um, but yeah, so what did you guys think about uh, Nick Cannon saying that he was envious of Lecrae's walk? And if he were to really stick to his music thing, he knew that he would eventually have to be rapping about the kingdom. Come home, Nick. <laughs> that would have sounded like home, man. it sounded like some, somebody who actually knows the truth, yeah, who knows the word. Home, bro. You know, and and, not, and not, I'm not gonna say this from a judgmental place. We're praying for that brother. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but man, you out here having kids like a rabbit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> they he, talk about that too later on. And you obviously know the truth. You obviously know the word. You were in it. So I just wanna know what happened in his walk uh, during that time. Was he forced? Did that kind of push him away? Like, I wanna know what happened to make him kind of change directions to feel like I know he said just then it wasn't popular it wasn't cool but you know do something to make it cool you know what I'm saying and uh, yeah. I don't but, know I but, just feel but I, I, to, to be honest I think um, I think people don't see a representation of what you trying to do mm -hmm. or you just getting clowned you know what I'm saying like yeah. 
Like I remember your story about gospel gangsters, yeah, and you was the like, same way. yeah. So, but to me, like, I, like I said, I got into Christian hip hop. I got stuff early. Um, some stuff I thought was good, and some stuff I was like, oh, I wasn't feeling that. But at the same time, the stuff that I thought was good, I had friends. I was putting them on to like T Bone. I put a, a friend of mine who's a Muslim on to him. And he was like, "Yo, I want to dub dub me that because that's hard." Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I just think that it just said, dub me that. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, "Yo, dub me that. That, that dude can rap." <laughs> so it was like, at the end hey. of the day, at the end of the day, to me, I think you just had to find. And then also, I think sometimes um, I will clap for his dad for trying to be like cultivate his gift, right? Because sure. he didn't because he didn't have to do that. Because yeah. I remember yeah. it, it was a thing we saw. I don't know. We talked about it with the brat, and she was talking about how she was in church. And she was like, I was before. She was like, I was, I was before Kirk Franklin. I was having a bebop, and my and my Koji background told me, nope, that's not of the devil. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, she yeah. just ended up just running away from that. So, yeah, I think he just need to come on home, man. Like you know the truth, bro. Just I mean, at the same time we talk about it all the time. It's a sacrifice to come along with it. Because what he was saying right then, it wasn't cool. It wasn't popular. Mm-hmm. And a lot of folks feel that way now. So you know he yeah. got wild and out. He got all these different opportunities and things he's making money off of. If he comes out with a bold stance for Christ, some of those yeah. things may dwindle and slow down. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's probably a thing where I don't want to sacrifice my money and, and what I have. But you know that's a choice that we all got to make on some level. We may not be millionaires and in Hollywood and stuff, but you always got to make a choice. Am I going to choose God? Or am I going to choose? the other you know and I think that's the choice you gotta make exactly it definitely oh, yeah. oh sorry but um it reminds me of the conversation that I literally had with my brother while um I was leading him to Christ I guess or whatever gospel conversation but um he wants to pursue music so how our conversation started is he hit me up he like Didi you gotta sing um background of my album and I'm like is it for Jesus I only sing for Jesus amen but <laughs> <laughs> he like no it's about love and this and that you know I can't talk about love without talking about Christ amen but even in that like the Lord led me to a download that he gave me before that a lot of people don't want to come to Christ because they feel like like you said I have to lose and let go everything but God was like, some desires that you have in your heart, I put them there. Mm-hmm. So if you're coming to me, I'm going to help you push those out. So it's like, I was like, he's not going, like, the the desire for you to do music, how much you love music, you don't necessarily have to let that go. You could just do it for the kingdom. And God will touch that. He's not going to touch and anoint stuff that's outside of his will. Yeah. So don't think you have to let that go. Allow God to push that forward. So I was even telling him, like, with myself, like, I was acting. I was acting all these secular projects. I was, you know, moving. I was a featured background in Atlanta. Like, it was dope. I'm moving. And I was like, Lord, I want to give this over to you. And in that, I was like, man, I may have to get this up. It's crazy. Whatever. But now I'm writing my own. And God said, I'm going to help you make your own movies. So it was like that. Like, listen, there is nothing that you like my sister in Christ. um, God told her that there is nothing that you can give to God that he can't give you better. Mm. So you got all of this stuff. Yeah. Walling out all that stuff. Who says you can't do that for the kingdom? We need we need more um, Christian comedians. We yeah. need more dope entertainment. Yeah. Who's to say that like you can't have greater over here and be happy, or even if it's on the smaller scale and you be happy and you be fulfilled, your face clean in the streets, yeah. like you a good father, your family, you making ends meet. Like even David said it in the land of the living, I will experience the goodness of the Lord. What does goodness mean to you? And take that to the Father. Can I be honest too? <coughs> Nick Cannon music really wasn't great. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe you it wasn't good because you should have been doing it for God. Hey. You you think he got a flip jiggle on? For a disciple? <laughs> <laughs> and and I ain't trying to diss on the same like, making lots I'm, of I'm gonna ask anybody in the room. When you were in your in your phase, whatever, did you ever say, Oh man, let me pop on that Nick Cannon real quick? I mean, he had cuts. Um, yeah, man, cuts. get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't trying to, and no, I ain't no, trying he to, was almost on you know, he was supposed to be like Will Smith, honestly. Hey, he was like supposed, was that, two yeah. Yeah. No, but what he was supposed to do was he was supposed to he was making clean comedy music, yeah. and I think to me, like I think one of his deepest songs was about abortion. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, can I live? I think it was called. But I think to me is he. I always feel like I, I won't be that guy, but I always feel like something jacked off with him and Mariah, bro. That that situation turned him to yeah, like what? a wolf. Like, yeah, like <laughs> what you said. <laughs> I think, I, I, I think it jacked him up. Too late into your I song. think he. I think. I think that situation jacked him up, bro. Because he ain't never been right after that. You know what I'm saying? Like it just yeah. something was. 
he just like went like total left after that marriage, man. And I and I pray for him, bro. Honestly, I'm not sitting here, yeah, like condemning him or whatever. I just my, my prayer is if he sees this, it's like, yeah. bro, one, it's never too late to come home, bro. And yeah. when we say come home, we're not talking about come home to religion. We're talking about come home to the freedom of Jesus Christ. Yes, like come to him and just say, Jesus, I need you, bro. Like. I need to know you. I don't need to know church that I've known for years or religion of church. I need to know a true freedom of Jesus and really embrace that and and take off new ageism, take off other stuff you've learned over the years because it's obviously keeping you in a place where you like, you're jealous of Lecrae and you probably are maybe more richer than Lecrae or more of that. You, mm-hmm. That same thing that you're jealous of, you can get that if you just surrender that and he said it. he said man and even now he's saying like man christian music and it's, well, he want to call it spiritual music but whatever right. christian yeah. music it's uh it's people who are making high quality art who are thriving <laughs> we, we feature those people on line for line every yeah. week you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like so you even with your own minutes you're seeing that it's on a higher level now so you're really giving yourself no excuse not you know what I'm saying? To yeah. do the thing that you said you were envious of through Lecrae, you know, so. Yeah. yeah just pray for uh, Nick Cannon. 